Hi, welcome back to your new lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn how you can smooth the data and detect the outlier from a data. So the data smoothing refers to a techniques for eliminating unwanted noise or behaviors in the data. While outlier detection identifies data points that are significantly different from the rest of the data. So in this tutorial, we are going to first learn how you can smooth your data using moving window methods. Moving window methods are always a way to process data in a smaller batches at a time. So typically in order to statistically represent a neighborhood of points in the data. So it performs an average between a window size and then it puts that a single value there. This can help to eliminate insignificant variation from one data points to the next data points. So let's clear this window and for example, I'll tell you consider a wind speed measurements taken every minute for about three hours. You can load the data when load wind and data dot mat. So before that, let me clear all these variables. So clear all and let's load that once again. CMXLC load it. Okay. So this is a measurement taken for every minute for about three hours. Now use the move mean function of a window size of 5 minutes to smooth out high speed wind gusts. So what you can do here, you can create a variable known as minutes and then 1 to length of speed which is 186. Oops, I should not have done that. I should care before I hit enter means and then I am going to perform here window equal to 5 semicolon and then I am going to write here mean speed is equal to move mean and speed and then window. So what it does move mean is a function MATLAB inbuilt function. It takes an input variable speed on which it will perform moving average filtering based on this window size. So the window size is here 5. Now what we can do we can plot these variables. So let's plot it. Plot means and then speed, then again means, now we want mean speed. Once you plot this, now you can write, write here axis type. Right, now you see here. So in this plot, this dark orange color this dark orange color is mean speed data and this data that is um, in blue this is actual speed non-filtered speed you can say so somehow we have a smooth in that data here right great Similarly, you can compute the median wind speed over a sliding window using a move median function. So for that, what you can do, you can write here median speed is equal to move median and then you can pass a variable speed and then window. It's, it's a move median. Okay, right. And uh, now we can plot this. So simply type here plot and then means 
and then we want the speed and then once again we want means and then median speed just plot it now you will see here uh, let's type here legion so the first legion is speed second legion is median speed type here shg it will bring this in front of all window now you can notice here this blue color is actually speed and this dark orange color is median speed that is filtered by using median filtering so in median filtering what it does it is taking a window size that is a 5 and then it is taking the median of that window so the median of that window is the same here many times that's why this is it is a kind of a, you know the cropping its data okay great so as you might have noticed that not all the data is suitable for smoothing with the moving window methods or with the median methods. Now we need to see it with some other data types. But before that, let me prove that one more time. As uh, let me show you that one more time here. You see here, and here is a. Uh, this data so the, this data is might not be a good enough to filter with using moving average and the median filtering so let me prove that in another way let's create a sinusoidal with the injected random numbers so the 1 and 0 0.2 is tip size to 15 and a is equal to sin 2 pi multiplied by t so that's the 2 pi sine 2 pi t and plus cos once again I'm going to add here 2 pi and then here 0 0.5 t okay and let's create here noise so noise is here a plus that is small a actually a plus 0 0.5 and then multiplied by a random number so that is a rand and the length of this random number in a single row and the column will be equivalent to the length of t right so let's plot this so we can plot t with a and with noise now you will notice here that somehow data must be single matrix y or at least pair of x and y so what we are missing here we are missing here t right so as you might have noticed here that uh, before that let me plot it with the legend okay so you will understand which data is which one so the first one is original data and then second one is the noise data and then we are going to print here location location is going to be a best location okay it will automatically adjust it now type here shg you will see here that this blue color is original data and this dark yellow color is noise so let's perform a filtering to this data And for that, we are going to perform a moving average filter. Right? So for that, what we can do, we can type here window size is equal to 3. And a mean of A is move mean. Okay? And uh, then we are going to perform noise and then window size 
okay right and then let's plot it so what we can do we can plot this mean with a Um, it says that sorry yeah uh, it's a mean okay now you will see here so it is not capturing data actually right as you see here the data is this one blue color and the filter data is this orange so it is not following exactly and it is not smoothing this data right so for this uh, for this case what you can say so moreover we can make a statement that moving mean achieves a general shape of the data but it does not capture the value very accurately since the value points are surrounded by two very large values. So the mean is not a very good approximation to these points. So if you make the window size larger, now the mean eliminates the shorter peaks altogether. So these peaks will be eliminated. Right? So for this data, you might need to consider some alternative smoothing techniques. So those techniques we will be considering into next tutorial. So thank you so much for watching this video and please do not forget to subscribe this channel. Bye bye. Have a nice day.